Molly Miller is missing. She was last seen nearly eight years ago. The circumstances of her disappearance center around a brief encounter with police. Two Works for You's Vincent Hill brings us one of Oklahoma's cold case files, The Mystery of Molly Miller. Paula Fielder kneels at the altar, praying to see her cousin Molly again. It's a nightmare you can't wake up from. The last time anyone saw Molly, she was inside this car, along with two other people, but right now, only one person is accounted for. This taken a toll on our entire family. Paula was much older than Molly, but their relationship, strong. She was real feisty, you know, and uh, she, she just liked to play around. She was kind of a goofball, you know. Paula says Molly looked toward a bright future. She was very active in softball, and um, and I really think that she could have been somebody someday uh, with her career. Paula and Molly caught up at a family reunion in 2013. She had poison ivy, terrible that day, and it was hot. So she spent a lot of her time inside. Um, under the air conditioner. That was the last time Paula ever saw Molly. Fast forward to July of 2013, and remember that car? On July the 7th, um, it was on a Sunday. Um, she had been picked up, her and Colt had been picked up by Con Nip. Molly and her friend Colt Haynes were passengers. The driver, Con Nip, leading police on a high-speed chase. Street of a black 2012 Honda Accord, they've got no lines outside of it. Police recordings show the car reaching speeds of over 100 miles per hour before officers lost sight of it in a wooded area. Because he freaking went out on a dirt road and they lost him. And that's where things take a strange turn. At 12.57 a.m., Molly made a 911 call. It was five seconds. Um, according to uh, dispatch, all they heard on the other end was just buttons being pushed. That trail in the woods stops here. You know, she made that last phone call at 9.33 a.m. and then 9.39 939 was the last phone call made from her phone. Con Nip was arrested and sent to prison for fleeing from police, but he gave no indication of Molly's or Colt's whereabouts. The OSBI picked up the case in 2014, but have no leads in the case. So seven years after Molly's disappearance, her family made a difficult decision. She was declared deceased um, on January 13th of this year. The family not knowing what happened to Molly. Molly's grandpa, who she was very, very close to, died of COVID. I'm heartbroken that he did not get to see justice on this earth. But I'm also at peace with it because I know that he's with her now. Just days after Molly was declared deceased, search crews combed the area of her last known whereabouts in a sign of hope as a search dog alerted. But it quickly faded when no traces of Molly were found. Meanwhile, Paula is praying for answers. I wish I could turn back time and bring her back and just tell her that I love her. If you have any information about the disappearance of Molly Miller on July 7th, 2013, please call the OSBI tip line at 1-800-522-8017. Vincent Hill, two works for you.